Bruce, I know there's only so much you can say about penalties, but, um, you know, we talked a little bit about him yesterday. I, did you get an explanation for like Golston's when his helmet came off? <laughs> well, he, he bumped into the quarterback and that, and, uh, that's a penalty. So, uh, no, the, uh, the part of being offsetting penalties. Um, no, I didn't get anything. Okay. And just, I mean, what else can you say about him? I mean, I know you guys talked about him before the game. Uh, you talked about him all year. Um, I guess it's on the players that, you know, you're not always going to get the calls you agree with, but how do you, how do you rectify this? Well, you know, this was the one that most disappointing was that, um, you know, we, we do a scouting report on who's calling the game every week. And um, this referee is very, very protective of the quarterback. They lead the yep. league in roughing the passer penalties. And mm -hmm. we committed, we committed obvious penalties. Anytime you touch them in the head, it's a penalty. And yep. uh, so it's just players have to take the responsibility to play smarter. Thanks. Next question will come from Scott Reynolds. Hey, Bruce, uh, was Gronk's re-injury serious, and do you expect to have him back after the bye week? He had no idea with his back. It just spasmed up. So uh, we don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see on that one. So this really wasn't connected to his, his broken ribs, per se, then? Yeah, it's all, it's all connected, but uh, um, I, I don't get all the – Medical jargon, but uh, what joint here and there, but uh, there, there is connected. Yeah. Do you anticipate Antonio Brown or Carlton Davis, Sean Murphy, think any of those guys have a chance for returning for your game against Washington after the bye week? I, I think we'll know more when we get back, but, but Sean and, and Carlton look like they're making real good progress, and Scotty Miller is also. Thank you, Bruce. Next, we'll go to Evan Winter. Hey, Coach, it was a bit of, of a surprise to see Joe try on Tremaine and play as little as he did. Was there any specific reason for that? Yeah, JPP was playing so good. And, uh, you know, the, the package uh, wasn't as big for Joe this week. He, and uh, so, yeah, it's just a matter of how much he, we can get him in. And, uh, yeah, I would like to see him play more. You know, what's the number one thing that you're looking forward to improve upon uh, during the bye week? Discipline. Thanks. Next question will come from John Lane. Okay, we'll go to John Romano. Hey, Bruce. I'm curious what you thought of your pass rush yesterday. It, it looked like... Um, the guy's got a lot of pressure, but didn't actually bring the quarterback down at all. Um, what, what was your thoughts? Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, we had some free guys and just didn't get there in time. And, uh, you know, I think we went for a strip sack and, and let Jameis out one time. And uh, we just got to do a better job of getting finishing, the, the, especially when we're blitzing. And, uh, you know, it goes back in. The back end has to hold up just a little bit longer, too. Don't let those quick throws come out. Uh, so it's a, it's a it's a combination of the coverage because we are getting guys free and, we, and we're getting pressure, but uh, we're not finishing the job. And the last half dozen games against the saints, they've averaged more than 30 points a game against you guys. How much of that is, is matchup problems on defense? How much of it is your offense turning the ball over too much? Uh, strictly offense turning the ball over uh, that and penalties, um, you know, in this one, uh, every, both times down there, uh, we've turned over three times and, uh, you know, you're not going to beat those guys down there with, with the number of penalties and the turnovers. And we, that's all we talked about all week going into the game. Thank you. You bet, John. We'll go back to Jenna Lane. Hey coach. Sorry. If you called on me earlier, I, my uh, connection went out. Gotta love technology. Um, I, I don't know if you had a chance to watch the TV copy. I know sometimes you guys do, but, um, Safety Antoine Winfield Jr. had made a gesture towards the camera um, that some people felt was, uh, in a way, making fun or mocking Jameis Winston. Um, it was shortly after the injury. I know he's not available today, but I don't know if you'd heard about it or if you could just offer your thoughts on that. I have no idea what you're talking about. 
I gotcha. We gotcha. He wasn't available. Well, some people had thought that maybe it was in poor form on his part for doing that because it was shortly after Winston was injured. Um, just your, I mean, I don't know if you can even speak to that or if you're not comfortable since you hadn't seen it. I, I don't, I don't have a clue what you're saying. So. Okay. All right. Well, I had to ask cause uh, you know, you he's bet. not available. So thank you. Next we'll go to JC Allen. Hey, Coach, just looking at everything, would you say it's more of like a technique and fundamentals issue? Is that going to be a point of emphasis once the players get back uh, to uh, practice? That is every week. I mean, um, most penalties are, are technique or fundamentally um, the cause. So, yeah, we do it every week. But uh, this one was more discipline and, uh, and just playing by the rules. And, and Donovan Smith came out of the uh, the game shortly, uh, was back into it. Josh Wells came in for a snap, but is he looked to be okay? Is that something that is, is might be a lingering effect or? No, he's fine. Yeah, thank you. We have time for a few more. Next, we'll go back to John Romano. Hey, Bruce, I know you had previously said you had no interest in, in trading somebody like Ronald Jones, but I'm just wondering with – with injuries around the league, um, if you get blown away, might your position change in the next 48 hours? It would have to be. It would have to be something really, really special, John, because I love the way he's running, and uh, uh, it's just it's just one nick on Leonard, and, and Rojo's the guy again. So, um, to me, that's a, it's still a great one-two punch. It would have to be something extraordinary. And last question will come from Scott Reynolds. Bruce, you played quarterback in college. You've been known as the quarterback whisperer. You've developed quarterbacks in this league, spent most of your NFL uh, time with the position. Has the NFL gone too far with the roughing the passer penalties? I know they're, they're trying to protect the quarterback, but has the pendulum swing too far where it's taking aggressiveness and physicality out of the defense? I don't think so. I, I think the – you just have to play by the rules and, 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 uh, and adjust to the, the rules. Uh, I think when we started lowering the strike zone, players got used to lowering the strike zone. Um, you reach up high to bat the ball down. You can't hit the guy in the face. Um, some referees are different. I mean, there three of those calls two weeks ago wouldn't have been called. But this referee, you knew he was going to call it. That's his M.O., so you can't do it. You have to. You have to just be disciplined each and every week. But I, I don't think so. I think the game is what, – what is the game without the quarterbacks? All right. That's all we have time for. Appreciate taking the time, Coach. Thanks, guys.